not sure what happened here. Like a toilet accident. It's really hard to accept this as the new reality. I don't know, this whole situation is just really weird to me. It's just getting uh, to a point where you don't like, you don't want to participate anymore in this madness. I don't know how long I'll be able to do this. I mean, honestly. Hi guys, it's Tuesday, 28th of April. It's been I guess 10 days since I started the sprouting and look we have babies so cute I'm not sure though if I should still keep them covered or put them in the Sun because there's a lot of them there have not yet produced but anyway looks pretty cool I'm so excited okay guys a little update on my oatmeal this is it so the oatmeal today includes chia seeds chocolate vegan protein powder, moringa, blueberries, banana, and a new thing I've been obsessing about is almond butter. I heard that it's really good to put some nut butter, but believe it or not, I'm not actually a big fan of peanut butter. So I wanted to try almond butter and I am loving it so far. And actually one more thing I forgot to add. I'm adding some almonds as well on top. So yeah, that's gonna be it's gonna be the final one and it's amazing. So 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 yummy. So that's the update on the oatmeal. And the weather this week is not great. So As you can see, it's quite grey and windy and it has been raining occasionally. It's still relatively warm, I guess. Although I'm not a big fan of rain, I actually have to say it has been really refreshing to have some rain and wind just to clear the air a bit. I'm heading out to the shop to stock up again. Not sure what happened here. It's like a toilet accident. So yeah, I discovered one meal plan that I want to give a try because I am trying to lose weight, but it's not always possible. Even though I'm really eating fairly light uh, food based on fruit and veg, uh, I rarely eat bread and pasta and that. I mean, I do occasionally because I don't like extremes. But um, I do want to challenge myself to maybe try one week of this meal plan. I can link it below if you're interested. I think I got enough for the first few days and then I'll top up if I need to in the next few days. So I will see and perhaps I can start that tomorrow. I'm still <laughs> deciding. But anyways, that's it for today. But what I wanted to talk to you about is something else. I read something today about the end of confinement on May 11th. Things are getting slowly back to normal, but not entirely because we will have to wear masks in many occasions. And it's really hard to accept this as the new reality. I feel comfortable accepting this as a temporary situation, but I have not heard any progress has been made. I don't know if you guys know anything else, but I'm not sure why we are ending this confinement and I don't know, this whole situation is just really weird to me. I'm not even sure if I can continue like teaching. They say if you're teaching you have to wear a mask and I actually teach, okay, I teach meditation, that can be possible, but it's gonna be a challenge actually because people need to be able to hear me and I speak in a lower voice when I teach meditation. I don't even know if that will be possible in the company where I teach. Secondly, I give singing lessons as well, which is... Um, impossible to do with a mask. We need to open our mouth and it's just a, I don't know, it's just a weird situation. I uh, also discovered that we're not able to travel yet. So yeah, even though I know it's for the benefit of everyone and even in the last week I actually discovered that a friend of mine had coronavirus and her boyfriend's parents had coronavirus and her boyfriend's dad even died. So I mean, I get how serious this is. 
but at the same time it's emotionally and mentally challenging i am hoping for the best uh, and i am definitely looking for forward to having more freedom than right now because I think I'm getting a little bit disturbed by the whole situation it's just getting to a point where you don't like you don't want to participate anymore in this madness it's a little bit crazy you know we told you saw me last week trying to like break the rules I think I'm I don't know how long I'll be able to do this I mean honestly so I mean I really hope that they come up with some solutions I hope that we find the cure to this thing and I hope that we can finally, you know, continue with our lives. And I think all of us, basically, are having a bit of a challenge. Anyway, I just wanted to share my thoughts on this. And yeah, it's just a bit challenging. Hi guys, today is Thursday, 30th of April. I can't believe this month is already over. It's so weird and so surreal. To have time pass by so quickly, it's totally crazy. I just had a really cool Instagram live with some friends of mine uh, from the channel Divine Like Magic. I will link their channel so you can check them out and show them some love, some likes and uh, subscribe maybe because they're a really new channel and I like to support them. They're doing weekly readings. They're sharing lots of cool tips uh, all about spirituality, obviously. And we did a really cool talk on Instagram and we'll actually share that in our IGTV. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you, you can do that. It's a Q inspired life and you can find uh, our live video there. We basically talked about the May energies and I shared my insights from the numerology perspective and they shared more about astrology. So it was pretty cool to see that and yeah, uh, we had some questions, uh, some people joined, so that was fun and actually I'm kind of thinking of doing that more. Yeah, it could be interesting for sure to do more of these live videos. Uh, it was super fun. And tomorrow is a new day. It is Friday, the 1st of May. I can't believe that it's already May. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Anyways, I decided today that it was a good time to start this uh, meal plan that I want to try. This uh, meal plan is supposed to help you lose, I think, 5-6 kilos or something. It is mostly based on fruit and veg. So today I am actually allowed only to eat low calorie fruit, mostly apples <laughs> and citrusy fruit, as, as they say. Uh, so I uh, will see. I think I might have my matcha and my coffee. I did have lemon water, so that's allowed. Uh, I just want to challenge myself for a week to see how it goes because I've been working out really regularly for over a year now. I feel like I have built a lot of muscle actually. I feel much stronger in my body and uh, now I think that it's really about like kind of burning that fat somehow and uh, just uh, the outer layer and I hope that maybe this diet can help because I, I mean I normally eat very light with occasional cheat days and I'm working out so I'm telling you as you grow older it really becomes harder somehow I don't know so I want to try this and see how it goes actually I am allowed a little bit of nut butter that will definitely help my sugar <laughs> craving later um, but yeah I got some apples now that's gonna be my meal okay so for day two i'm supposed to boil this potato i eat half in the morning half in the evening topped with a little bit of sour cream if i want and in the evening i can have a little bit of uh, avocado i can eat low sugar veggies and fruit all day as much as i want so that's uh, that's it for day two okay so this is my morning food I also made some matcha, I know it's against the rules, but it's pretty much water, matcha and green tea is actually allowed, so it should be okay. Just a little bit of milk, uh, vegan milk. Yeah, so let's see how it is. Hi guys, so I decided to make a salad because that's what I can eat. But it was also said that if it feels a little bit too plain that I could uh, eat it with hummus, that I could snack on with hummus. So I actually like to make my own hummus um, because then I can make it how I like it. So I have some chickpeas here 
and we're gonna make some hummus <laughs> hope you enjoy this uh, I pretty much improvise a lot, so I don't have a recipe per se, but I can explain as I go. Okay, so I ended up uh, making a very garlicky hummus. Uh, it is a little bit more liquid than I was uh, hoping for, so maybe if you're using the chickpeas from the can, uh, drain some of that water. I personally like to keep that water because you need a little bit of liquid so it can uh, mix better, but I think it could have been less water. So um, I would just do it with less, uh, less water, but it, other, otherwise I'm really happy how it turned out. I actually add more garlic to it, but if you don't like garlic or if you want to have less, you can totally exclude it. So it's not like a regular hummus, it's my version of it because yeah, I like it kind of garlicky. So in the end, I'm not making a salad, I'm just gonna munch on <laughs> cucumber and a little bit of hummus and that's gonna be my snack for today